Hi, my name is Bobby. Welcome to my garden. We'll start off here in the greenhouse. We have ourselves a giant crimson from MI Gardener, very exclusive tomato. It was actually in someone's attic, a seed packet for 85 years, pretty much went extinct. There was a seed packet found and uh, two plants were actually germinated out of, I believe it was 25 seeds, and only one plant survived. And they managed to harvest seeds from that. And then very limited sale last year. I still had some seeds. We have here Mr. Old Abe Lincoln, not yet flowering. Has some flowers on it, but not opened yet. Oh, we have some King of the Norths here. They're supposed to do really good. In the northern climate, we do have some peppers on there already. Three on this one. A couple on this one. Flowers all over the place. We have another Abe Lincoln. This one actually has some flowers on there. The thing in the greenhouse, I have to uh, pollinate the tomatoes with my fingers. Or otherwise... The bees kind of get trapped in here, and I try not to get, let them get in here. So I have to pollinate them myself. The so peppers do fine if you just shake them. Uh, they'll self-pollinate that way. This here is a stubby jalapeno. Or it's a regular jalapeno that I saved from a ball-shaped jalapeno I got last year off a of plant. I was hoping to get more ball jalapenos and then I would call them Bobby's balls but it didn't quite work out that way we have a yellow monster here big uh, Cubano type pepper first time doing celery we got a couple of those in there I think it's Utah celery a no name tomato plant there we have a black beauty in the back has some flowers on it Solar flare. Solar flare is a red with speckled orange in it. It's like a slicer. That's a natural's riddle. I think that's pretty close to the same thing. Pink fang. Uh, just like the name, it's kind of fang shaped and it's pink. Right here we have a Romanesca. It is a broccoli that it would look like. That's what a broccoli would look like if you're on acid. It's a very, very unique Romanesca. Seen it at the, seen it at the seeding table or the up potting table at the greenhouse, and they didn't have any out yet. And I asked him if I could buy one, and he gave it to me for free. That's pretty cool. This here is my Brussels sprouts. Started from seed. Green. Got some onions in there. And this is a broccoli, I believe. Yep. Calabrese broccoli. I started from seed. There's something else. I think that's a that's a cauliflower. I started from seed. Most of these I started from seed. Pumpkin spice. Started that from seed. Brandy wine. That's a really big tomato plant. Very big tomato. Lemon drop peppers. Ornamental pepper, meaning it sticks kind of points up in the air, like the, that one's doing. First year growing those. Got some house plants out here. String of pearls. Got an orchid we've had for a few years. An aloe plant I've had for several years, along with these other succulents in there. Another one. Here's another pepper bucket. This is a mix match. We got some jalapenos right there. Another king of the north looks like. I'll have to check the tag. No, that's a yellow monster. Might might have lied to me. That might be king of the north. That happens around here, mislabeling and labels disappearing. Another pumpkin jalapeno. Got some cayenne in here. You can see. Got some peppers going. That might be a lemon drop, actually, that is. 
That's supposed to be a habanero, but I think it's a habanado. I think those two got switched around. We got Sugar Rush Peach over here. And King of the North here. Sugar Rush Peach, kind of a northern ornamental, but this one gets really big, so it doesn't really point straight up after too long. <coughs> we got ourselves a riddle. Another one of those. Orange accordion. Now that looks absolutely stunning in the pictures. Spoon tomato. Very tiny, like a teaspoon sized tomato plant. Very crazy. Now to the in ground bed. We don't have a whole lot coming up yet. We just planted the seeds for these, but a jar of dale. Pumpkin, it's like a green, like a pale, pale greenish blue pumpkin. These are the super maxes from Baker Creek. Very big pumpkin we did those last year's had had some good success over here we have some crimson watermelon some honeydew minnesota midget a big cantaloupe and another big cantaloupe got an eggplant black beauty eggplant there's a long and two long purple eggplants. And we have some tomatoes that we're gonna do the Florida leave on. A couple of the pink fangs, we talked about those. The better boy, that's like a baseball. Sand Mars, very similar uh, with the Roma. Again, with the Riddle, Rainbow. A lot of these are from Baker Creek, the Riddle and the Rainbow, Accordion, Solar Flare. We kind of love that place. Quality seeds. And then we got some walkways here out of our old porch. Always try to reuse, renew, and recycle here. Uh, got some summer squash, some dark green zucchini, some black beauty zucchini. That's a new one for us this year. None of these have popped up yet. They were just put in the ground yesterday, but direct so. Now we'll go into what I call the original garden. We did have a frost. Some of my pepper plants was an unexpected frost. So I got all my jalapenos over here. A lot of them look good. A lot of them look like they're going to bounce back. I see new. Might be hard to see, but there is some new growth coming in there. So I got a little faith in it. But this, one of our original beds, we have uh, some king of the nors over here. We got cucumbers in the corners. Not 100% sure of the variety. We have hummingbirds fighting. Oh boy. Fighting or mating? Mating dance, maybe. He was banging his head pretty hard on the old door. I gotta take that off, but there's some rhubarb. Got it from my co-worker, John. These also got a little bit of frost damage. Uh, these are ground cherries, Aunt Molly's. We have some Romas. Those just got planted the other day. Sugar Rush. The Till. That's a free one we got from Baker Creek. We got a Yellow Monster and a Cayenne. Let's go into the, the second garden of the old garden. Needs a little bit of weeding, but we got some broccoli. Uh, these we bought at the nursery. Got some cabbage, also from the nursery. Cabbage, probably the prettiest thing. What the hummingbirds were just fighting by. My asparagus. Absolutely beautiful. I started these from seed three years ago. We got strawberries, ever-bearing. Summer breeze, I believe, is the variety. We got some more cucumbers over here, and we have some asparagus. There's three plants here. I did these from root. I'm going to let that go to fern now. I've had my pick this year, I think. We have our onion bed. That's designated onion bed this year. These are all done from onion starts. Uh, Brussels sprouts started that from seed. Uh, we got these Brussels sprouts right here from the nursery. I started this one from seed, the bigger one. Oh, we got some kale. Oh, that's 
maybe kale well, I think that's the kale I'm not quite sure what this is we have lemon cukes over here I don't know what this is broccoli I got real irritated with these plants that might be a broccoli uh, same with these that's a cayenne this is a brand new bed over an over an existing in-ground bed we had here we have some beans up front they're not yet sprouting bunch of tomatoes we pretty much been through all the varieties so I don't really need to talk about it anymore we have a flower bed here with some sunflowers in there and some bachelor button and a marigold I believe some poppies are in here we have a moonflower there's a lot of broccoli going on in there or not broccoli but potatoes you can see some of them coming up well, we'll mound these up this year. Haven't really done something like that in the past, but this is, again, another new bed. Just took some old jack pines and old porch boards and connected them. Worked out pretty nice, I think. We'll have some beans coming up here. Those got planted last weekend, so I'm hoping this week they'll come up finally. 10 days usually. Got a kooka melon another spoon tomato yellow pear tomato and some oregano we have excuse my neighbors and their chainsaws I have a bleeding heart here second time it bloomed we just bought this this year at the nursery as soon as we stuck it in the ground it bloomed again very pretty plant we have a king of the north and some more cucumbers Orange hat, we got a little bit of frost damage. King of the North, King of the North. Wisconsin SMR, pick a bushel. That's a slicer, cucumber. Blue cream from Baker Creek, absolutely delicious cherry tomato. It's a blue and yellow. Got some more onion starts. Another bed we did this year, kind of the same thing, but we did it opposite the long ways where the picnic tape, or the porch boards with an old jack pine on the end but some more tomatoes in there and some brussels sprouts eggplant onions from uh, from sets we have some marigolds in here I'm not quite sure what else Serena put in there but I'm sure it'll be beautiful in a couple weeks here uh, we made these this year too 50 gallon we use whatever we have laying around, old 50 gallon drum, cut it in half, mix a peat moss, composted manure and topsoil. Oh, we got a lemon cuke in there, another lemon cucumber, red cherry tomato, yellow pear, and a blue cream. And a Minnesota midget, and I think another watermelon. Yes, ma'am, that's a midget watermelon, Benny's. We do have two plum trees here at the farm. Yes, I use my snow shovel to move dirt. You may be able to see right there. This is our third year having this. It was a three year old plant. Here it is. We may have plums this year. Last year it flowered, but those fell off right away and I've had other ones fall off already, but these ones look like they might stay. Really excited. <laughs> Love when things like this pay off, like the asparagus and the plums, things that take years and years. Patience is a virtue in gardening, absolutely. Don't be afraid to put in things that take years to develop, because in the long run they will pay off. Try to use uh, these tires. We bought some lavender, we started some nasturtium. A friend of mine always brings me tomato plants. This is one that she brought me this year. Patio Ye Choice Yellow. Look like those are going to be fun. Blue Sage. We started that from seed. We got some dill we purchased. And some mint that we purchased. And another one of those plants. That my friend bought me. We had to cut her down. It was, wasn't looking too happy. So we stripped her down. Hopefully she bounces back. Well, thank you for joining me on my little garden tour. Hopefully this becomes a weekly thing. 
Maybe we'll show some more. We'll see some flowers and whatnot when they start blooming. Uh, thanks for your time. If you do like it, you know, subscribe, hit the like button. All that funny stuff. I feel weird saying it, but thanks again.